<clears throat> I just had to get off. Not going to overtime this check because yeah, she been rolled jazz back in school. Jack Jadez. Why y'all would drew my baby from school? I will figure that out for me one second. Mm -hmm. Let me sign up for you. What um? Right. What grade? Eighth. Eighth grade. And what's the name? Jasmine. 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 Jazz, can y'all please stop being stupid and when y'all see my hair just out of control, can you just put it back to a place where it don't look stupid? Janet and Marshall? Yes. 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 Did you pop it up? It's okay. Okay. No, no ma'am. Yeah. You just told me to do it. Yeah, and you was well over there. My hair been rolled up, and you sat there and looked at me three times, and then I just happened to see my hair. And then you see me see it, then that's when you come and fix. It's, it's cool. I see that you not capable of it. No, somebody can come up here and speak with me. It's too many people here to talk about one person. She would like to speak to someone, anyone. It make no sense. She does not want to be reached out to. She wants to talk to someone today. No, I'm not waiting a little minute. How many students here? Y'all got one person that can uh, do the Jasmine answer. Nazaya. Jazz Nazaya. Yes, ma'am. My apologies. 
Um, she wants to talk to someone about why she was withdrawn from school. Thank you so much, Mrs. Zubani. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
see why my baby is taking her school this long. So, um, it looks like she was withdrawn from whenever they do the, the audit. I do. Yeah. The bus brings her there every day. It's the same residency when we first moved here. She first attended school here. Were the other other students, um, siblings, withdrawn too? No, no, ma'am. So, um, the boys are still here. Um, uh, my son goes to another school. Yes, but she. Did, I'm trying to see why that's relevant. She still was going to the school. Jadez got kicked out of school, stopped coming to school. I'm not even sure. But I came up here and did it the right way with Joaquin. Took him out of the school. That still has nothing to do with Jazz being taken out of school. It does if it's um ha same household and it's, if it's a residency issue. So um, you can I can put a request in so that you can meet with our school social worker and the data clerk because the data clerk is not here today and the school social worker is at another school today. So, but there's there's nothing I can do. Um, she was she was withdrawn. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing you can do, my baby, and been out of school. And what you're telling me is the people that, when I finally get time to come down here, the people that I have to talk to is not here and I gotta make time to come back when they are here, which goes. I mean, she just happened to be sick today. I mean, typically they're here. Okay. So back to what I was talking about. Now the day that I can finally make it down here, mm -hmm. I, I work. Mm -hmm. I, I don't get off till down there at 5. I go at 5 in the morning. Mm -hmm. So that's Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. And when I get off early, I'm tending to my five children and my household and things I have to do. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a big inconvenience to come back down here again and wait on y'all to put my daughter back in school when she should have never been withdrew from school. You can, um, you can call back up here. And then y'all just gonna put it back in school. It doesn't work like that. So you I, I mean, what's the point of calling? You still have to go through a process that I shouldn't have to go through because she. Sh Do you not understand? She, I, I, maybe you understand it, but but I, I I don't understand it because like I said last time, if I would have sent her to school with a piece of the mail, y'all still would have withdrew her and said y'all need me to come up here in person. For what? Because that's the protocol. We don't make those rules. That's a, that's the district protocol. And this district protocol to have your money and pay your bills on time too and not be running out here to because y'all decide to kick people out of school randomly for what other kids got to do with other kids. Y'all didn't kick my other kids out of school, but I guess it's because it's at this one school is why y'all doing it. I can't speak to anybody at this school. I can only That's why I just said because it's at this one I school. I can't even speak to this other than what I told you. So if you want additional details, we'll have to wait until we speak with. Oh, I thought I was going to get all the answers because I'm talking to the principal of the school, but. Well, it's kind of like on the job, like your, my supervisor doesn't do all the work that I do. And like, I'm not, I, I'm not going to know all the details of what's happening in her classroom. So. That's why I didn't ask about the classroom. I asked about what's going on up here in the frame. And so I don't do the withdrawals and the registration. And so mm -hmm. I want to make sure that you get accurate information. Mm. And I want to make sure that you don't have to keep coming back up. So Oh, y'all don't make sure of that. That's why I'm never, I ain't never seen you. Every other administrator pretty much know me. So that's crazy what I just seen you. And you like, you've been here for years. Surprised you ain't never seen me because I definitely come up here a lot. You, um, well, she's been, she's been with them. Oh. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. They go to the school. I don't know. But it's, it, we're dealing with grade levels and we're dealing with grade levels. Okay, well, since I'm dealing with the principal, whenever my daughter gets put back in school, please do not take my daughter out of school unless it's something having to do with my daughter or y'all going to be calling defects on me because I'm not running up here and keep putting her back in school because my other kid don't want to come to school. I done told the uh, every administrator, everybody that keep calling my phone about my son, 
if he don't want to do, he ain't going to do. And he chooses not to come to school. I, You can ask my daughter. I fought tooth and nail since my son been a little baby to keep him going to school. Now when I make him and force him to come to school, drop him off and haul tail down the road, it's bad for y'all in the school. They constantly calling Jadez is doing this, Jadez is doing this. I don't know if you know Jadez, but Jadez getting quite a lot of trouble when he's told to do something that he don't want to do. So right now he's out of school, and I feel like y'all took that out on my baby in two. So, okay, one don't got nothing to do with the other. You just said it's because of the verification for the address. That's why I said if you want additional information, you need to meet with those two individuals. Girl, if you, because, I mean, before I thought that I was right because y'all didn't get the verification because Jakeen left and now Jadez is out of school that's why Jazz is not in school but now you're saying it has nothing to do the boys have nothing to do with Jazz she was just no, when you were taken saying, out of school about uh, Jadez's behavior and, and that has not hurt me. oh well I, I mean I know that what I'm explaining to you is because I've never seen you but I've explained to everyone else about Jadez. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's what they have related to you about Jadez. Okay, but they don't relate it to you about me trying to get Jadez back in school? I just know Jadez because I know lots of people. Oh, okay. Well, he's been in a lot of trouble. But anywho, so like I said, it's because the other kids are out. That's why she was out. Mm -hmm. They took her out, right? You say you don't know, but you got to know that much. I'm, I'm not, uh, you're not going to get the answer that you want today. Clearly. She's not going to be able to be re today. Clearly. Okay. Now I'm sorry to waste your time. Well, it's not a waste of time. I mean. I got you. Uh -huh. Get up. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Man, we will get out of here. Was it this way? You don't need to keep straight. You don't need to keep straight. Yeah, I'm going to keep straight. You have a blessing. Hey, where you going home? You don't go to school here, so you don't need to be going to the A's A bag. I mean, how in the world? See, that's what I be. Am I stupid? How in the world do you not go through the principle with details and stuff? You just, girl, that you don't know anything daddy I, i'm sorry she talking about like at your job like you talk with the teachers and like, i ain't asked you about in the classroom i know i wouldn't come to you about what's going on in the classroom but when a student is unenrolled how that don't even go across your desk that don't make no difference sense to me then you like i know jadez well obviously you don't know of jadez which you should, because every mother freaking teacher in this, you know about today. Every teacher, half for the parents, when we just standing out the door, and a whole lot of other people. You can't even say nothing about today. But you, you can't even, you don't even know the reason why this girl has been taken out of school. You I'm like, sure no, that has nothing, huh? I'm just sure was the residency. Okay, the residency right here. If that was the only thing, then why? The, the paper on the paper that you sent home says, the residence, residency. This the residency paper. Why you just can't be put back in school then if all they need was proof of your dirt? And then when I'm thinking about giving you the paper, I already knew that they were going to need me to show up in person for what? All you need to prove is that you live there. That is dumb. Then I'm up here talking about Jadez's behavior because I'm letting y'all know that if you, you no matter if y'all keep calling me, like you said, they've been blowing me up and yeah, they have. Okay, I've talked to everyone up here at least five to ten times. Now, guess what? I get to talk to the principal one-on-one -on -one about Jadez's behavior. But that has nothing to do with her. Duh! Did I say Jadez is bad and it affects Jazz? Did I say that in there? The freak is you talking about? You sleeping, you scratching all over your body and removing your shirt down. Ma'am, is you okay? Did we wake you up while you got your good Sunday school music going on back here in this little good little cola outfit? Just chilling, making money, not knowing what's going on in your school.
They don't make no darn sense. Then they sit up here, they get they can keep blowing you up when, when it's inconvenient for you. It's what? Almost 2,000 devilish students in there, and y'all got one person that does the taking. And she's sick today. Okay, y'all don't got nobody to come in and cover. That don't make no damn receipt. And I wish you would let out your mouth. Let's like at your job, because I know that's what she's listening to say. You have these people in this department. Yeah, you do. And guess what? When somebody call out sick, it's a replacement. Or guess what? Somebody else is answering your question. You doing it to the best of your ability is what you feel like you're doing. No, you're not doing a goddamn thing. Because you looking over there and mashing all on their computer and you can't see nothing. They ain't updated nothing. Or the reason she was out of school, you can't even say. You, you don't know nothing. There might be some questions you can't answer. But ma'am, no. It should be something something you could you can answer. Both of the people out, one of them see, and you're not going to get your answers today. Girl, you better be so motherfucking glad this is a place of business, helper. Because you know what? You just pissed me the hell off. And that's what I be telling y'all. You, 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 you stop calling and blowing up my goddamn phone. Y'all have fun doing that junk. They give you no time not to teach your students and then you just sitting there blowing up my goddamn phone all day. Then when you get me on the phone, you want to sit on there for two or three hours when you're supposed to be teaching them other freaking class. I'm tired of them. And who is that bubbly behind lady in the front? Because I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me she been there when it's a goddamn lie, when that goddamn what? Her little short little Caucasian lady was there for the last two and a half years that I have been going yeah, out. That, that woman we saw, like, every when we had a car, she's actually the front desk owner. That other woman, I think she, like, um, at the front desk lady, she, if she's not here, she'd be there. Because I don't really see her in office. I've never either. seen her. And she just, too mother freaking happy for me right now. She usually do with children. Special needs? Because mm -mm. she'll be a great special needs teacher. Jeez, I don't know what happened behind her. And all you need people like that to be jolly and joyful. I'm just very mad right now. This bitch saying I act like that. And they be like, hey girl, uh uh. You just, mm. <laughs> so I just be happy sometimes. But she, that was a whole bunch of damn nothing. Whole bunch of nothing. Then you call up there. Oh, um, you could just come up and somebody we have uh so then you go up there. Every single time I every single time is something. Every single time. I am so sick of this school, bro. Yeah, Y'all sat up there and blow me up last time about you did. As soon as I get to the school. It well actually a couple times I done got there when y'all blow me up. But we gonna let them stay. Everything calm now. Girl, I just got my ass off work and flew all the way across town to get this goddamn boy. Or somebody that wanted to talk to me that's been blowing me up on the phone. Now they ain't there or uh, they in a meeting. Ma'am, I was told to come here. The free. Now I gotta find another day, take off work, to get down there. Hopefully the people are not sick no goddamn more. That's why I kept trying to call this morning. Yeah, I'm talking about y'all blowing up my phone. I was doing, uh huh. Same thing for y'all. Blowing up y'all and can't get no darn body on the phone. So 
know, Jazz, when they kicked your ass out of school, did you speak with the lady that actually did the kicking outage of you at the school? Whoever the freak that lady was just talking about. I actually don't know who she was about. The first time I spoke to the other Dr. Williams and Ms. Brown, she was talking about, she was only really focused on Jadez. And then on that Monday, that's when she said, oh, we have perfect drawing. You can't come back until you give us the documents or if a, or like if your mom answered the phone, I'd probably discuss with her. And that's the only time they ever talked talk to me about me being withdrawn from school. So I don't know if that's the woman she want, said that wasn't there today. You don't know if that's the woman. The lady said the name. How you don't know if it was the woman? You didn't hear her say the name. Now, did you hear her say the name? I don't know what the hell you sorry for. No, no, that's what she just said. That, uh, one is at like another school and then the other one is just sick. Dude, the fuck what? I know that part. I'm saying the lady name that she said. No, she said a lady name. She did? It definitely, yeah, I, I believe she said a, a lady name. And don't ask me what the devil the lady name because I don't give a flip. Yeah, but that was, yeah, she's talking about Miss Brown. Cause I didn't see her in the office. There ain't no problem if your mama answered the phone. Never have I ever answered the phone and they have spoke about withdrawing you from school. It's always about Jadez. And then they be talking about working together and this and Miss Brinson and this and this. Sitting on the phone for just continuously for the longest. That's why I started recording that goddamn conversation because uh, I know darn well you're supposed to sit on the phone that long um, on, on company time. And we talking about their family and what they cook for Thanksgiving and, and, and stuff and everything. I'm talking about everything you could think of. Every time I talk to them, t that's why I'm so sick of, ooh, sorry about that. So sick of talking to them. So what do you think we could actually do to help the students? The students, girl, I don't give up, girl. I can't stand talking to them. I mean, it was a great time before, and I sit right there and be jolly and talk right on to them till y'all start seeing her defects and I'm off for the deal. As soon as you, what the hell wrong with y'all? Lying to you, you just defense my household. Oh no, no, you ain't got no damn friend no more. Yo, don't call me no goddamn mother. As soon as you take his phone, uh, I can take his devilish phone if I want to. I paid for it. Then you take his game. But Miss Brinson, that's all. Uh, my game and I can take it if I would like. He's on punishment. Well, Miss Brinson, uh, no, he don't get snacks and this and that. Well, Miss Brinson, uh, well, do the other kids get snacks? I know the fuck you just got him first. Did not just ask me that. No, if you want to be his sugar daddy, sugar mama, sugar, if this your sugar baby, then y'all deal with him and stop calling me. You, damn, y'all couldn't get hold of me, so y'all kick jazz ass out of the dang school. <laughs> like, bought that. You already took juke, jacquin from us. Then you gonna take, let your dad just not come? And we been trying to find him? That's our homeboy? Then then that's not, you know. Okay, cool. Let's see if it, this is a fair though. I just randomly like we need to verify the okay. They could have been to me like they're like weeks prior. Ma'am, ride by it. the house. It's the same house. What 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 are you what, what you trying to say? You can't just live there on um, by herself? No, because everybody done moved out. Ma'am, just says make that make sense. We need proof of verification of the address because Jadez don't go there no more, pretty much. Is okay. she gonna say it, it, it she she don't know how to explain it. Somebody else got to explain it. Ma'am, if she's been coming to school every single day, she has great grades. What 
other reason, ma'am? You see here so much, you can't explain it to me. What other reason would my baby be put out of school? Oh, they need the ver verification address. So when I say it again to you, you like, man, I cannot answer that. She has to, and you just fucking said it. I just needed it, you to clarify it for me. Bitch! You up here, and you, now I know that shit's mama sheet. I can just tell, you can tell that ain't no damn nigga trope. And then you sit here with your dreads all in front of your devilish face. About to smash me right in the darn front. Simple behind kids. You think you'll put your stupid hair back. Little behind, stay up behind dreads. This lady just really threw me off because I cannot believe what the hell this happened. What a coincidence being that the lady ain't there. Yeah, both of them. She said both of them went there. How both of the people that to answer questions ain't there? And again, I don't give a flip what none of y'all say. Every time, even when y'all. That's crazy. I've never seen that principal one day in my damn life. And who's seen it and journey to went to that goddamn school. Who the hell is that again? Uh, exactly. You don't Hold even on. darn know. You don't even darn know. It's okay. Because like I said, cause yeah, because she around sit around, around and do nothing. Clearly. She up there doing all that stupid behind typing on that computer like she was finna find something. And it had absolutely nothing. All I, I looked at her computer, it was just like a, I think someone sent her something. I just saw my name and like a bunch of yellow highlights. And she didn't even try to read none of that. And why would you have yellow highlights? You've never got in trouble at school. Except when you be talking in class. Hey, yeah, everybody ain't done that. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just saying you, that's why I said never. But yeah, I know you have at least one time. Cause this uh, clearly some gospel music playing here by y'all. Look, y'all have a blessed day by that girl.